Hello everyone, I'm Shanae Heber, 21 years of age, and I am employed as a quality manager at an oil and gas company right here in Guyana. So I was nominated for the 25 Women Influential Award. Um, thank you to the nominee. Uh, I think that award focuses on influential women leaders, women that are using their platforms to bring about change, to impact change in their communities and the country at large, as well as society. And so I think they're going to be choosing the 25 women between now and April. So I'm hoping that I, I get the, that, that award. I believe that I represent a generation of women that are working assiduously to break those barriers and stigmas that have been attached to us. And there were many people before me that did this very same thing, but I believe that my passion and my drive to see women at the forefront of development is what allows me um, to, be at, to have a seat at the table rattle. And so I think I will be a great fit for the award because of the fact that I stopped at nothing short of achieving my goals. Okay, so I started studying petroleum engineering at the University of Guyana. I would have completed an Associate of Science and I'm now currently pursuing a Bachelor of Science and that is basically oil and gas, petroleum engineering. And that started in 2019 when I completed high school. And at that time, Guyana, it was a new form of resource in Guyana and I wanted to take up space in this industry because of the fact that it's male dominated. and. Like I said, I was exposed to women empowerment through this as well. Honestly, I knew nothing about oil and gas prior to having started that degree. And before that, I wanted to become a doctor. But that was just because of influence, family, friends. But when I started the program, I fell in love with it. I would say I have seen women functioning in various capacities, but the positions that we're giving are not ones that will allow us to um, fully, fully function, I guess, or fully showcase our potentials. Um, most times you'd find women in human resource, um, you know, and the, the positions that doesn't allow you to be very technical, for example, engineering. So there's not many female engineers in the industry, Guyanese, yet. You have the potential, you, you have got to be able to harness those potentials, not only to develop yourself, but also to aid in a society where us girls are seen as transformational leaders and, and powerful forces of development. And so it might be a difficult step, especially transitioning from a place where we never knew anything about oil and gas. But just taking that first step, finding yourselves in the right space, will allow you to transition into much higher positions in the industry and be seen as just as competent as our male counterparts. My platform is the impact of teenage pregnancy on young girls in and around Bartico. Quite a few persons have used the effects of teenage pregnancy for the, as their platform for Ms. Bartica before, but I felt like enough was not done, and this issue still plagues our community so much. And so I decided to take a different approach, because while they may want to speak about effects, I want to speak about the impact, which is on our girls. And I feel like we do not have enough influential uh, personnel in our community to more or less inspire these girls to take space, to do more, to take up the mantle you know, to grow and develop themselves because we can be so much more than what society has, has um, identified us to be, which is housewives or, you know, mothers. <laughs>